Fight Club's Fistful of Existentialism. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the gritty world of Chuck Palahniuk's novel and David Fincher's film adaptation, Fight Club. Let's smash that subscribe button and punch that like because we're about to unravel the existential mayhem that is Fight Club. Ever felt like a lost soul in the supermarket of life? Well, so does our nameless narrator in Fight Club. Struggling with a monotonous existence, he's a faceless cog in the corporate machine. But here's the twist. He's also Tyler Durden, the anarchic alter ego who throws a middle finger to conformity. Question is, who's pulling the strings? Are we defined by our day jobs? Or is there a primal rebel lurking beneath the surface itching to break free? Ever looked in the mirror and wondered who's really staring back? Palahniuk and Fincher force us to confront our own reflection, peel back the layers, and see the duality within. Tyler and the narrator, two sides of the same coin, battling for dominance. It's an existential tug of war that leaves us questioning the very essence of self. Who are we when the masks come off? Our narrator's life revolves around Ikea furniture and Starbucks coffee, a checklist of material possessions meant to fill an ever-expanding emptiness. But does that flat-screen TV or designer coffee really bring satisfaction? Or are we just numbing ourselves with the anesthesia of consumer culture, hoping to drown out the deafening silence of existential dread? We're bombarded with ads, told what to buy, how to look, who to be. But deep down, we're left wondering, is this it? Is life just a series of purchases and possessions, or is there more to the human experience? Fight Club pushes us to strip away the superficial, to rebel against the consumerist trance, and to confront the hollowness within. In the chaos of Fight Club, where fists fly and blood spills, there's a desperate search for meaning. The narrator's journey takes us on a roller coaster of violence and self discovery. But what's the real message here? Is meaning found in the destruction of self, or is it a phoenix rising from the ashes of societal expectations? Are we condemned to a life of nihilistic despair, or can we forge our own path to purpose? Fight Club challenges us to question the structures that bind us and to find meaning in the midst of chaos. It's not about the punches thrown, it's about the existential knockout that leaves us questioning the very fabric of our existence. Let's throw a philosophical uppercut into the mix. Existentialism, with its gritty realism, contends that life has no predetermined purpose. It's up to us to create meaning. Palahniuk and Fincher plunge us into this existential abyss, daring us to confront the absurdity of our own existence. Palahniuk's prose and Fincher's visuals collaborate like a dynamic duo, delivering a one-two punch of existential contemplation. From the page to the screen, Fight Club challenges us to wrestle with our own philosophies, to grapple with the idea that maybe, just maybe, life's purpose is a DIY project. And there you have it, the unraveling of Fight Club's themes. Identity, consumerism, and the relentless search for meaning collide in a chaotic dance that leaves us questioning our very essence. But hey, that's the beauty of it, right? The existential journey is never neat and tidy, it's a messy, exhilarating brawl that makes us rethink, reshape, and redefine. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that bell for more mind-bending content, and remember the first rule of Fight Club is to keep questioning.